Bassmaster Classic. This is a record setting event. It is the hardest tournament in the sport of bass fishing to win. It's only three days. It's much shorter than our Elite Series events, but the pressure's there, the fans, the interactions, you're distracted a lot of the week. And we've seen some of the biggest names in the sport, some of the best anglers that have won everything, have fallen short in this event. And day one of the Academy Sports and Outdoors, Bassmaster Classic. The greatest, the greatest spectacle, spectacle in the sport. South southwest at 8 a.m. at 21. South southwest at 21. 12 p.m. southwest at 24. 2 p.m. west southwest at 18. West at 17 at 3. It's going to die off tonight. West at 15 at 4. Um, basically 60 to 90 percent chance of rain all day. Tapers off a little bit about 10 a.m. It's 100 percent chance till 9. Got my elite suit. Uh, oh yeah, you do have one, don't you? <laughs> Is that my elite suit? Hey man, your tags are still on it. Are they? Yeah. It's brand new. What do you expect? You ain't gonna be like gonna need this thing today. Yeah. You, you ain't riding in here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's nah, what I like. It's still we dark. We got four days of practice, dude. <clears throat> the wind's blowing over 20 today. Have you looked at the wind? Are you serious? Yeah. Look at the wind. Over 20 on Just sit down. Just staying over 20, 20 no. on it. Really? Just look at the wind. It's 19 right now. I'm going to go downstairs and get my windsuit. White capping out here in the creek. Oh, my yeah. Hollywood better get his stuff double for that one. Well, Corey, can you go practice today? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you got McCoy, can we put an alternate in? We should do. We should vote on that. Today's like today. You just send out your teammate. You, you know, send out Billy? like your alternate. Hey, let's call Billy. Four, five, five, Just gotta give oh, a blood flow. 106. You got a hundred guy. I knew I could. I did 93. I knew you'd beat me. Oh, dude, you're a little light rain. Wind's still blowing. We're gone. I know it's not cracking crack of daylight, but it was raining pretty hard this morning. It's still raining. It's gonna rain all day. Biggest thing is making sure you have the right equipment to stay dry. This is the brand new, check this out. Brand new rain gear from AFCO. This is the Elite, which is their brand new one. Um, I mean, feels good so far. And that's a really, really good one. And then we have the Reaper hoodie, which is a must. Keeps you nice and warm. And then now they have this one, which I haven't worn yet. It's some type of, Waterproof, I think. Pretty nice one there as well. So, making sure that you have the proper foul weather gear is very, very important. You can go out and fish on a day like today. But if you, worst thing you can do is not be prepared. Get wet, get cold. It gets distracting. You just don't, you don't make good decisions. So, we've got all day to figure out something. It's not going to get dark till 6:30 tonight. Gonna get out there, crank baits. Wind's blowing. Moving baits are going to be. I think we're going to catch them today. But we have to be smart about it because we have to figure out where these fish are today and what we think they're going to do come Wednesday, which will be our next day of practice after these three days are over and then tournament starts. So we're a week out and a week in the spring is a huge amount of time.
crappy. Crappy. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Crappy. There's something. There's something. Doesn't feel big. Feels really little. But it's a bass! It's a bass! What up, dude? Oh, hey, hey, listen. I love you. I love you very much. And I wanna I wanna make a deal with you guys. That I'm gonna treat you with all our respect this week. I want to uh, have all your friends come and hang out with me this week, especially some of your bigger buddies and your mama and your papa. We got something special to do this week, guys. So if you can help me out, I really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Love you. Bye. Bye. There you go. There you go. Just had to make a deal with these little dudes. All right, guys, this is so cool. This is perspective. I've got Ford here. You can see the little hump of some sort. And I look at this perspective, which is giving me a 3D live picture. And that's some, like wall or pipe or something. And there's a break in it right here. Look at these, look at these craters, like old bluegill beds or something. There's a shadow moving around. What's neat is that this is all live. It's all live picture right there. That perspective is freaking awesome. I got it set on 50 feet, so that's 25 feet in front of the boat. You can see this like wall, and there's a gap in the wall. The gap in the wall is slightly this way. Point right there. You can kind of see it right there. Just, it just tells you a lot about a spot, right? I can see fish swimming around. I haven't caught them, but at least I 100% understand what's here. If that's the most important thing. I mean, great if I catch fish that I see, that's awesome. But I understand what this spot is now. I understand I have just a mental picture, a perfect mental picture of what this thing is. And that's important. Just understanding what's going on is important. So that's cool. That perspective is the real deal. Very, very, very cool. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. And it is a non keeper. Yee! Right here by the train. So yeah, you go back in the wood and you don't catch you don't catch a good one either. I don't think that's where it is. I don't think that's where it is. know if he's 18 or not doesn't look like it 18 no but he's a nice one small mouth thanks buddy Probably a lot bigger than that Oh, he gone, dude. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What is this thing? I can't get it up. It is big. Wow. It's still on the bottom. Oh. 
it's going to go out here in like deep, deep water. And I won't be able to get it up. I don't know what it is, man. It's got to be a catfish or a carp. Look at it. There it comes. It's with three other ones. It's with three other ones right now. It's coming to the top right now. Almost see it. Almost see it. There's three big fish with it. Four big fish with this thing. Look at them all right there on the screen, dude. Big striper. This is big, big. Guys. No, oh, what is that? Striper? Big striper. Look at this thing, guys. Look how big that striper is. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the boat just to get a perspective of how big this thing really is. Oh, wow. Wow. Golly, dude. What? Look at that thing. Dude, that's big, big. God, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, guys. Big. I'm like a dang ninja, man. I'm not cold anymore. I'm not cold anymore. Uh. I'm just gonna catch strikers all day. Ridiculous. We're a little out of whack this year on the. We don't have our bag of seasoning. I do have Everglades. So now we're going to cook uh, chicken tenderloins in the oven or something. I don't know. We'll get some I'll get some pellets tomorrow night, and we're going to show you all the special recipe. You're not going to miss miss it. This is the backstrap, banana peppers, cream cheese, the whole nine yards, bacon. That's the deal. Do you feel like any of those fish, do you feel like any of those fish could be out deep right now? Like. I don't think they get deep on the I ain't surface. fishing deep. I mean, I don't care. I, ain't, I don't know, but I ain't fishing deep. I'm going to tell you that. All right, guys. Y'all ready? Got us some chicken, boys. I'm starving, dude. McCoy, I ought to get the TV going. Look at this thing. You bring any plates up here? Look at that. They're oh downstairs. My gosh. That looks so good. <laughs> here, I'm going to get all the sides. So weird. Matt, what'd you cook? Couch? You ready? I was like, what about a throwing the things I, in the I, hair? I, I, I said, I hope not. I had to hold on to it real tight. <laughs> I said, I hope not. Oh, my gosh. I, I just knew you were just going to be like, Dang, yeah. I, I got to go back down there and get plates. Or Matt and go get some plates. Jesus.
Put a hot sauce in them or yeah, something? Yeah, I did. Did you really? Well, sort of. Sort of. You just got it. How many you want? Keep going. <laughs> we eating this thing too? Is that enough? Um, Probably not. Probably don't need to. But we should. Should actually. It's hot. Probably be better now. Looks good, fellas. I'm glad I didn't have to cook it. Yeah, I, I haven't paid much attention to the NCAA stuff the last couple of years. I, like I used to watch I like a lot of sports. Man, it's just yeah. it's so crazy. I, I enjoy basketball, I just don't watch it much. I, I mean, I don't even watch college football as much as I used to. Man, I used to be diehard college football. I don't, I don't know either. I wish I did, but I don't. Life gets busy, man. The kids get big. And yep. Too much stuff going on. This is for a living. <laughs> Who's your team? Oh, Sooners, man. Sooners? Yeah, Oklahoma Sooners, baby. You're freaking from Florida and your kids go to all Florida schools. Oklahoma Sooners, so baby. Got, what? So, oh. Boomer Sooner. Oh, he's a... He's a, what we call a bandwagoner. No. If I was what's, a your, what's your connection? If I was a bandwagoner, I'd be, I'd be all off on somebody. I'd be a big Alabama fan. All right, well, what's your... That's the only reason, uh, only reason Canterbury likes Alabama is because they win. Wait a minute, he went to Alabama. Oh. <laughs> he went to college? <laughs> <laughs> he did. He went to college. You went to college? I can't even believe it. He didn't take English. But you can't, can't just be an Oklahoma fan and grow up in Colston, Florida. What's your connection to Oklahoma? That's where I was born. My mom graduated from there, okay. where I lived for until I was five. Okay, all right. And I've always been an Oklahoma fan. Okay. That's my connection. Why not Oklahoma State? Because your mom went to Oklahoma. Because they're a bunch of cowboys, man. Okay. <laughs> so what the, what the hell is a suitor? <laughs> they, they drive around in a wagon. They're different. <laughs> so, question. It's a question, okay? You ready? Yep. Who's going to win March Madness? So who's going to win? Just let me know. Drop, drop a comment. Let me know. Let's see who's going to win this one. He, he picked the easy out. Why do you have to have a so much? Try. I doubt. I don't know if they're going to win because our best players hurt, but I hey, hope Jeff, they do. Typical Alabama fans always have an excuse if they don't win. I hope they do. I don't even know. Hey, is Oklahoma even in it? Hey, like, That's pretty bad. I don't even know if they're in it. Like Oklahoma. three months ago or so. two months, mid-season, like mid-season. I bet $25 on them to win the national championship. 25? Hey, if they win, it pays 250. Better? That's, a, that's more That's more like I don't have the side. hair that I had. Everybody, you know, I mean, I used you to. De you, definitely, you definitely got your money's worth on that haircut. I did, didn't I? I mean, they. Y'all didn't say nothing about it when I got here. I mean, whenever they, whenever they like got it done, the they look at the ground and go, oh my gosh, Matt, that's the most hair we've ever seen. You know what the bad thing about that was? Is when I was looking at all that hair, you know how it falls down on yeah. the apron and all that stuff? Yeah. It wasn't blonde and brown like it used to that's be. That's all pepper, didn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah. It looked like your beard, my beard. I, your your color, beard's like mine. Yours is white right here on the bottom. Yeah, right? I color mine, though. Well, you need to do a better job. No, no, I color it white. I like that. Oh, I like that okay. Salt and pepper <laughs> yeah. look. 48 today, 41 tomorrow high. Thursday, day before our tournament, 75. So that's gonna that's just gonna make them all frisky, dude. It should they should bite. If they don't bite on Friday, they bite on Saturday. You know, they're gonna bite during the tournament. Like uh this stuff's a bomb, by the way. What is it? It's that company, I don't know, that Duke Cannon Company. Oh. Uh, not a sponsor plug, by the way. Uh they make that uh um Yeah. Buffalo Trace soaps and stuff like yeah. that, like the bourbon soaps and stuff. Huh. It's amazing. Well, that's awesome. It's amazing. Bill, to wake up in the morning smelling like an alcoholic. It's a good idea. Hey. All right, well. What to do today? Well, a lot different. We're gonna have some sun today, which is good. Really, really cold and even colder tomorrow. You know, we looked at some um, past tournament results from last weekend. I had a high school tournament here. Six limits out of 250 boats. That's horrendous. Took 22 to win, 18 was second. 11 something was third. So, are we going to catch them better than that? I think so. But my point is, 
is that the, I don't think the bite's that great. I mean, obviously. So when the bite's not fantastic, just running around doing the normal, traditional chunking and winding, probably he's not gonna catch them that great. Now, will this gonna warm up? Are they gonna get on that bite a little better? Yes. But getting out of here and trying to find something in this canal area, maybe trying to find the smallmouth bite, trying to do something a little different where, you know, hey, even if you catch like three, five pounders, it's better than, that's better than uh, 10 pounds of two pounders. Striper, dude. Uh, I caught a striper yesterday, too. What I did there, guys, if you saw that, I tuned the jerkbait. So I was noticing the jerkbait when I pulled it through the water. You, a lot of people don't think about this. You think, oh, well, it's just a jerkbait, right? Well, it was jerking and then going a little bit to the side, which was preventing it from getting as deep as it should. It wasn't pulling right either. You could feel it. Like, it wasn't the right pull. And so I adjusted that thing. I pulled it through the water, and it was going a little this way. So I bent the eyelet. A little this way and now I mean literally it's diving straight down now I can feel it pulling better too it'll feel better and everything it's just the, it's the very very important thing to pay attention to crankbaits jerk baits all those things can get out of whack yeah it feels different now it feels better it's pulling good Big smallmouth. That's a big smallmouth, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, look at that big giant launch. Look at that big old nasty. That's awesome fish. Look at that, guys. Figured out something a little special. I can't let him go. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, gosh. That's a big one, dude. 
for sure are bigger. Nice large mouth, dude. Just like that, guys. Just like that, we figure it out. It's been brutal. But this is a big deal right here. got one. Hey, two and a half pounder. It's a good one too. It's about as slow as I've ever fished. And I'm really just trying to I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to understand special places is really what I'm doing. I'm trying to avoid just running around fishing, fishing. Which, maybe maybe that's the wrong approach, I don't know, but I just know that the classic, you need something that's a little different. You just, the run of the mill, oh, he won the classic by just running around fishing points and lay down trees. It's just, it's just never the story. The story is something more. So, have I found what I need to win the tournament? I, I don't think so, but but I am putting a little piece together. Uh, just a little something. I know you haven't seen a whole lot caught, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm being kind of methodical here. We'll see what happens, but you know, we've still got all day tomorrow. And then the most important day, Wednesday, in a few days. So, and that's the other reason. I'm not fishing. Hurry up. I'm trying to learn as what I can. I'm trying to find something special. I'm trying to find something that these fish are going to be coming to me at. We need to vote to start having these things in the summertime. That's my vote. Because this place is wrong just something wrong about it. The water's a little lower than it was last time. It's just, I mean, somebody's gonna win. I get it, but goodness gracious, it's making my head hurt. But we're gonna stick with the plan. You know, get two more days, two solid more days of practice. So we learned, we learned way more from yesterday to today. I know that. So. If we can just do that tomorrow, learn a little bit more tomorrow, get a, establish a few more little things. That's all you need. It's only a three-day tournament. I'm going to win the Bassmaster Classic. What'd you find? I'm stroking them. If it takes six pounds a day to win, I'm good. <laughs> Listen to him. He's catching big ones, dude. He's, he, every time he catches like nine pounds, it's like 16. Dang, seven keeper. He had how many yesterday? Eight? Uh, I had four today. Five or six yesterday. Five or six yesterday. Seven today. He can win the classic. Keepers dude. don't win classics. Fast he caught five pounder today. Yeah. Four. I caught it four and a half. Four and a half? I caught big. Yeah, so I His mouth is up. That, that? His mouth is really big. I caught another small mouth. mean mouth. He would have been good for the last night.
Y'all can tear it up, it's ready. Traeger is the way to go on these things. I mean, that is, that, that's the secret to the whole Traeger thing is to dry it out. When that wind got to blowing today, it was cold, wasn't it? Yeah. Is it supposed to blow tomorrow? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm I got sure. colder today than I did yesterday. You did? I'm yeah. Check the wind. This evening. All right, well, we got to figure out what to do tomorrow. Temperature is going to be, uh, when does it get above freezing? At noon? One o'clock? Yeah, well, like gonna, one o'clock. Well, I mean, why would you want to go fishing below freezing? <coughs> you going, you going while it's below freezing? Mm -hmm. No. Matt's not going. Before. He mm -hmm. says, he's saying that for the video. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, I mean, it's Bassmaster Classic. You can, frost frost bite. Bite. Seriously. you can get frostbite and hurt your fingers. You can get a frog bite. I doubt that. But Frostbite. Oh, frostbite. I posted it and yeah. said I thought I would show you one. What are you watching? Pickleball? Did you see it? Maybe. <laughs> I said I. Instagram post. Canterbury Fishing, guys. Follow me, not just Scott Martin. And McCoy. <laughs> Mine's bigger. Oh, Matt, don't be comparing. Let me see. The big smallie. He's like them Canadians. He's down there catching them brown ones. Caught one. One. <laughs> keeper. I've caught seven in that and caught a keeper. Caught four. Maybe five. One keeper. What's up, buddy? Slackers. No, I've been up. I've been outside charging my boat. I can't go. Can't go right now. They didn't charge my boat last night. They unplugged uh, it. It's probably good. It's my workout right here. What's the temp right now? Twenty-five. Cold. 20. Cold. Cold. The temp is cold. By now, we get up the driveway. It might be frozen. First day, hey, the first day he was hurting. I said that's that Florida blood. Yeah. He was yeah, cold. Was bad. He was cold at first. Day. You know, to be so fit and in good shape, you're kind of a sissy. With fighting words right there. No, I don't want to fight you. You're in good shape, I said. I just said you're a sissy. <clears throat> Toodles, noodles. I feel like Scott Martin walking out with the sun up, going to practice. So today we're going to throw some little swim baits around a little bit. We got several bites on that yesterday. The other thing I'm going to do is put a little bait pop on there. I've been experimenting with this stuff. It's a live sonar enhance, live sonar intensifier. Plus it has scent inside. And I've been using it a little bit, just kind of seeing if it was legit or not. And so far, it does make the bait pop up way better on the transducer than a little bait like this, a little three inch, 2.8 actually. It's important to have a little extra, little extra reading on it. Plus the scent's a good, good thing too. So I put it on my jerk bait and it stayed on the jerk bait really well. I'm just putting a little on there before we get out there just to see if it'll dry on there a little better. Put it back in my box here. So yeah. It's kind of a new It's about fish formula. Fish formula has been around forever. Like they're like the original company that did since. I mean like I remember Ken Cook and Rick Klein and all the guys back in the day. Gary Klein, I mean, all those guys back in the day were sponsored by Fish Formula. Again, it was probably the first scent to come out that I, that I can remember. And uh, they've kind of been flying under the radar, but they've got this bait pop. So I've kind of kept it a little quiet, just kind of playing with it just to see if it's legit. And so far, it's been good on the drop shots. It's been great. And it definitely intensifies the reading a lot. So that's a good thing. How you feeling? 
Well, it's definitely cold. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna warm up though. Second half of the day will be important. Now, it looks like we're gonna have a lot of wind on Friday, first day of the tournament, out of the southwest, which is, which is a good warm wind. So I also need to be kind of looking at some banks for some of the south, south days, south wind days. I need to start kind of thinking as I run up down the lake today, just like looking for a couple juicy looking places so I can visualize where, where to run on a windy day. So. Ice at 10, 10 o'clock, still ice. Super crazy, dude. I don't know which one. I didn't have a bite. I didn't really see any here. Dude, Canterbury called me about an hour ago and yeah, he couldn't deal with it. Dude, it's so nice having this perspective, dude. Look at this thing. Huh? See all the rocks? Yeah. So, like, you get to an area, like, that's a vein of rocks right there. You look out here, it's all slick. God, Almighty, did you just do that? No. You didn't that. No. You can see, yeah, you can see where the rocks are. Like you can see the veins. So like there's a big, big high spot right there. I've only, dude, I can't get, I mean, I've had, like, I've had like nine bites, dude. No, I'm just kidding. You're like, yeah, 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 I know. I do, I can't catch them here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Finally rigged up a little Neko rig. I, I caught two, but they were like 14, 15. On a Nico? Yeah. Yeah. There's some striper. I've caught striper two days in a row right here, right here like yeah. five pounders. Yep. Yeah. Which is weird. And yeah, then there, I've had two or three bites yesterday, but dude, I can't catch them. They hit my I hit my thing and they they don't they hit it and you, you don't. Hit hard too, don't they? Yeah. Some of them are drum. I mean, I watched some of those guys catch a couple of drum yesterday. Yeah. Right, 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 right there. there. Like they hook them and get the net out, and then they're drum. But yeah. I mean, Drew Ben just told me like 24 pounds and 23 and a whole bunch of crazy numbers. Oh my god! But I, I don't know. See, there's one on that rock right there. If I can get him. Oh. Probably stripers, because this is exactly where I catch the striper. No, no, yeah, I hadn't found my bait yet. This is officially like, I mean, I've had bad practices before. Now I'm getting used to saying it, but. Day update guys I, I didn't really clear my clip much or talk about it but I had probably four big smallmouth I think they're smallmouth it could be drum but come up to my bait the problem was they didn't bite it um, so I don't know if that's a just a pressure thing you know they had that tournament yesterday a lot of boats in there they'll bite better during the tournament I think they will but you know I I still think I have to start here. I'm in a good zone right there. If I can get, I don't want to say lucky, but get fortunate and catch two or three big ones, and then spend the rest of the day, you know, filling out a limit with a crankbait in your hand. Um, you know, yeah. it, it's going to take something special for this tournament, and we still have a lot of time. We have we have all day Wednesday, which is absolutely the most important day. It'll be warm. Or warm, a lot warmer 
and things are going to be headed in the right direction. This is literally, it was snowing a minute ago. Canterbury called and said, dude, it was snowing. It's, I had, my guys were freezing up up until just a few minutes ago. So, you know, conditions could not be worse, to be honest with you. There he is. I think that's 14. Got my keeper today. Mr. Red Crankbait. Uh, that's that balsa again. Little, little pH lures. That's a that's a getter when when it's uh cold. That's 14. Oh, he's 14. Oh, yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you, man. <sighs> huh. That didn't take long. That didn't take long. Like, you just see that. All right, so let's just explain this little spot here. You got, like, man-made rock. That's, that's, that's not natural rock. That's man-made rock there. So that's gravel, okay? Gravel, 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 gravel. That's not man-made rock there. That's like a a point of some kind of, you know, like a channel swing point. Perfect, right? Transition, boom, there we go. Couldn't be any better, really. Could not be any better. That was cool. the most interesting classic practice video we've done full of action it's so awful I got a rant for a minute just for just a short second then I'll get back to normal we got a couple days to detune and the weather's gonna get good and we got one more day of practice but this place sucks right now <laughs> sorry I've stood in this boat the first day in freezing rain yesterday cold weather and today I had ice in my rods an hour ago I'm done with it dude okay let's go now my dang toe, toes are hurting you, put, you wear your rain suit all day? all day I never put mine on did you not? dude I've been I've had every bit of clothes I've owned on all day <laughs> for three days straight dude I was telling him that I've never I fished in cold weather before, but like the longest I think I've ever had uh, uh, ice in my guides is maybe like ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, maybe. Shit, it was. No. It was like that year at Hart when you had it all day one day. Yeah, I almost died that day. God. Almost died that day. Well, 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 what is up? Guess what? A whole dead day's gone by. A whole day's gone by. We took a little break. We had a little off day from that last day of practice, and now we have we've officially moved locations. We are now in what they call South Knoxville. We moved to a different house, cool house by the way, like a farmhouse. It's really nice. Matt and Scott have departed. They've gone with their families, and they're staying downtown. So we'll see them here in a minute. Today is it's an interesting week, right? It, it, it's really kind of cool in a way. So we get three days of practice, then we get a moving day, which was yesterday, which is what we did, and then today is the meeting we do a briefing we do some photos we do a bunch of things like that today and then we get the boat ready for tomorrow but you gotta rig up some new tackle some new rods and reels because we'll talk about that in a minute the weather is completely different but um tomorrow is an official day of practice so we're going to blast off just like the tournament at the exact time we got to be back at the exact time so that's what we're doing tomorrow and uh, lo and behold it's beautiful today and it's going to be raining all get day tomorrow again so <clears throat> We can't catch a break. And then check this out, guys. This is what's crazy. And again, we'll talk more about this here in a little bit. Fr Thursday, the low. All right, so it was 22 with a high of like 36 the other day. Then 25 with a high of like 49. And then today it was ice still and 55. Thursday, 80. 80, that's, yep, you heard me right. 80 degrees with a low of 60. 
on Friday, 70 like six with a low of 64. I don't know. I mean, I'm enjoying this because this is a really cool challenge, right? To figure out what to do, but it's all right here. It's all, there's no, there's no secret spot right now. There's no vast advantage. It's going to be all right here. So let's go take you downtown Knoxville, take you through the meeting process, see what we can, see what we can get into guys. Let's go. Travel bag? Well, what is that? It's a heavy garment bag, oh, or you can use it as a duffel bag. Oh, All right, nice. Nice. Right there. Pretty legit. So we got a bunch of swag guys, hats, all the cool stuff. And now we're gonna go to the meeting. Right now we're gonna do a little briefing. We get the get the get the whole rundown of everything that we're gonna do for the week and times and all that good stuff. So uh, we're gonna leave y'all here. We'll be right back. So I'm replacing some hooks on these jerk baits here. This little color. Might work good in that little bit. It's clear, but yet a little stain. They call that Table Rock Shad. It's got a little purple, a little chartreuse on the bottom. That was good right there. Another good bait with the water warming up and wind. You want something that can throw good. This thing right here, Bagugan Squad. Listen to it. This is what I love about this bait. Not real noisy, but listen, that's a nice little, nice little thump right there. A lot of baits are a little too noisy. Um, I don't have another, another one right here that's, yeah, here's one. You can hear that. I, I like that too, but that's a cold water sound right there. They like that little, thump, thump, thump. they like that one knock. It's like when the water temperature is in the low 50s, they like that one knock. Versus a little warmer, it's that. A little colder, it's that. Or go silent too. Classic week's a different schedule, it's a different kind of tournament. You know, three days of practice a week before the event, and then tomorrow with one more day. You know, you 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 hope to find good stuff in those three days or get an idea of what to do. And and I feel like I have an idea. But I did have an extremely tough practice. And, and part of it, and I'll be straight honest with you guys, a lot of it was the weather. I mean, it really, I, I'm not the best at, at dealing with weather conditions as far as cold and rain. And it really affects me a little bit more than, than the average person. So that was, that was a little tough. Mentally and physically, it was tough. And, you know, on top of that, not catching a lot of fish. You know, I fished different those three days than I probably would have in a normal three days of practice. A normal three days of practice, you fish... You fish for the moment. You try to find something that's active right then. But being that it was a week out, I wasn't really trying to find fish right then. I was trying to get an understanding of the lake, try to understand where things were, what looks good, what doesn't look good. You know, trying to just draw a mental picture in my brain of, 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 of how to win this tournament come Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so um, it was definitely a different practice. That's why you didn't see a, a lot of fish caught, you know, because I just, I fished really slow and methodical. I did learn a lot about some places. And I, and I can definitely visualize me catching some nice fish in some of these places I found. But you've got a lot of work ahead of me. Tomorrow, we get one full day of practice. Well, I say a full day, it's three quarters of a day. We'll get it until 3, 3.30. Um, we're gonna have some weather again tomorrow. It's gonna be, you know, it's actually beautiful right now. And we got major rain coming tonight. And then back to 75 or 80 degrees. It's just mind boggling to me. But, you know, there's two ways to win this tournament. One is you find some amazing spot, right? Uh, in practice and you roll there for the tournament and everything works out. The other one is you you just roll with some things that you found and things develop throughout you know the tournament and that, that you know, there's a lot of tournaments one where it's developed through the tournament where guys make adjustments on the fly game day 
and boom, things start clicking. If I can find those fish, you know, tomorrow, or better yet, find a fresh group of fish and a fresh way of catching them on Friday, look out. And that's what I'm looking for. So we've got all day to do it. I'm gonna finish rigging these rods up and uh, we got a dinner tonight to go to and I'm gonna get up in the morning and take you guys in the boat for the official day of practice. Well, we, uh, Knoxville right there behind us. Really cool setting, unfortunately it's raining, which we knew it was gonna be. Tomorrow's gonna be 80 degrees and sunshine. This has been the craziest weather thing on the history of fishing, honestly. So, we're boat 19 this morning, we're all lined up. All the anglers are, boat four and two, 17 are lined up on the dock there. We're getting ready to go. And uh, that's that, so let's get this going. We're gonna take you along today, a little official practice. Then we gotta be back in at 3.15. And, uh, to figure out how to catch them because we don't know yet do we we do not know for sure <laughs> you know every like yesterday was pretty yeah we get an off day it's pretty we yeah. get a practice day it's gonna rain and be cold <laughs> like that's a lot of practice four days is a lot of practice and out of the four days of practice we literally have not had a legit day yet the have first not. day was the best like weather wise <laughs> it rained like crazy it wasn't near as cold as it was not it was above I was frozen. It was above freezing. It was freezing, dude. At two o'clock. My hands were like this. I couldn't reel. At two o'clock your guys were freezing. Up. The Bass Rush is classic. Probably a drum. It looks like a drum. They're real lazy. There's several things right here. Got him. Probably a drum. That's what it feels like. Drum. It's a smallmouth! Look at that. I'm thinking that that if we get some like different shades of brown, we could maybe and put some bars on him. I'm thinking we can make him look like a dang smallmouth, dude, and there's a pretty good chance we could pass him. Just hold him like that. Kind of like that. Hold his fin down. The only thing is that. That's a dead giveaway. There's not much current here today. But there'll be current for the tournament because the wind's going to be blowing down through here. But I think I'm going to go to a drop shot. Drop straight down on him. <coughs> When there's a lot of current, that drift in that Domeki is good. Catching on the Domeki is good all the time, but it comes by them with that current, they react to a little bit better. So, I, think, I don't know, I'm gonna try drop shot and see what we can do. If we can just unlock one little detail in here, right? There's fish here. We haven't quite figured out how to consistently get bit. So, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna spend about an hour in here and then we're moving on and we're gonna go do our thing. But I'm, I'm, I'm this close to figuring out something special in here. There he is, a small mouth. Small mouth. He's coming up to jump. Go oh, on, lay, dude. We figured it out. We figured it out. They jumped off good. It's a four panda. Four panda. Four panda. I'm not cold anymore. I told you, small mouth dude. Give me some depth. Come on. Come on. We got our starting spot. It's a risky move. It's not really risky. I'm going to take that back. It's not a risky move. To me, it's the smartest thing for me to do. I don't have a, a, a for, for sure way of catching 
If I say, oh, I'm gonna go catch a five pound largemouth somewhere. It'd take me maybe never here. But you say, I'm gonna catch a four to five pound smallmouth. I can do it right there. I can do it right there. And, and look, get really fortunate. You catch five of them, you get 20 pounds. Then you win the classic. If you come out of here with one or two or three, spend the rest of the day getting, I mean, whatever. It's just, it's just, that's, I've spent a lot of time figuring out every little rock in here. I mean, that's why I've spent hours in here, probably six or seven hours so far. And, I, and I'm at least drawing a mental picture of how everything's laid out. You know, there's gonna be other boats in here and there's some other guys are gonna probably catch them. Some other guys might even catch them better than me. I don't know. But at least we, we, this is good. Just good. So I don't want to catch any more here. I don't even want to show them the bait, to be honest with you. So I'm actually going to keep drifting with that uh, Demiki style bait just to get them to come up and look at it. Just so I'll know where a few fish are. But there's, there's about four of them right there for sure. They came up on my bait and the way they acted was different. They came up on it and were, you can just tell it was a little different little deal. So I mean there's hardly any current. There's bite. Oh gosh. It's another smallie, dude. It's gonna jump. It's big too. Look. Oh my god, dude, it's a freaking five pounder, bro. Serious? Yeah, I'm serious. It's a freaking five pounder, dude. Look. Dude, they'll bite a drop shot, bro. Look, look at this thing. <laughs> what? But we just unlocked another. We just unlocked another. Oh my gosh, look at that small mouth, bro. We just unlocked something else. <laughs> look, look right here. Dude, he's freaking five pounder, dude. Look at that thing, dude. That is a freaking moosasaurus. Oh, there's a boat coming. Sit down. <laughs> look at this thing, dude. I've been busting my tail out here for a three days straight. Look at that small mouth, bro. That's a big one. Ugh. I had another bite that cast before that. That's a big one. All right. Jimmy Houston, I know why you do it now. I know why you do that now. See, it's just, it's the, it's McCoy. That's the whole reason I've been here by myself for dang, three days, dude. Yes. And we just unlocked another bait. That's like, that's like XY, XY triangle. Hold that button down, dude, and we just unlocked it. You know what I'm saying? Is that kind of like the, is that a, is that a thing? <laughs> you have to do you have to just do it with me you're shaking dude
small mouth. What if that's a mean mouth or a small mouth? It looks like a small mouth, but it looks like a mean mouth. There's a bunch of the mean mouth in this system. And that is a, a mean mouth is a cross between a small mouth and a spotted bass. See, I don't know. It looks like a small mouth, but it's really more of a spot. That's kind of spottish. He doesn't have a spot on his tongue though. So I don't know. The jaw. Usually a small mouth will have bars. No bars. So if it's a mean mouth, it's a keeper. If it's a small mouth, it is not. Gotta go. You know. I, th I think I think I can get two or three good keeper bites a day running my deal you know it's like those fish I caught the first day first couple days the key to this whole tournament for me is if I can if I can get three or four or five of those bites we got today I got a shot out I got a shot there's gonna be other boats in there I don't know but if I can finagle my way around have some things happen you know it could be good but we got to go in and uh let's go let's go let's go suzanne's here she just flew in my wife so i'm so excited we get to go to a nice dinner tonight and uh off day tomorrow again it's a tournament of tournament of off days 80 degrees tomorrow too which is kind of crazy So now it is, uh, so tonight we have Night of Champions, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna get dressed up, go out for a little dinner, and uh, that's where they do the Anger of the Earth speech and all that cool stuff, so that'd be neat. And then tomorrow is media day, so we're not done with this video yet. We're gonna hang out tomorrow. We got a lot of cool stuff to do tomorrow with you guys, and we're gonna meet the fans tomorrow, which will be a lot of fun, and, um, and you know, rig some tackle, get the boat ready, and let this water warm up. Um, you know, talking to Matt, he's, he caught a few on a chatterbait today, which was actually good. I, I like hearing that because that's something that I think I can roll with for sure. I think Scott had like three or four keepers as well. So, you know, the bite, the bite's tough, but it's going to progressively get better. And again, if I can, if I can get a couple of those fish to bite in the morning, big things can happen. All right, guys, guess where we are? We are we are now inside the Thompson Arena, which is right downtown Knoxville. We just drove underneath the, uh, the overwalk for the stadium. University of Tennessee right here. This is where we're gonna be weighing in. I mean, like for all of y'all that don't know, that might be watching this video saying like, like what does it mean? Like it's just gotta be a regular bass tournament. No, we usually weigh in Lakeside, right? At Like on the stage. This is our stage. This is the biggest show in this sport. This is where everybody wants to be. And all I ask is you guys to put on the show. And I know there's a lot on the line, and I know that there's a lot of stress going through all of you, and there'll be more as this week goes on with a bunch of you. But a bunch of people are going to be sitting in these stands. This place is going to be full this weekend. And there's a lot of people that's their first classic ever. So today we uh, did a little walk through at the arena, the Coliseum this morning, kind of show us the ins and outs of, uh, you know, how to get on stage, get off, things like that. And uh, media day now is from, I think, until about 3 p.m. Uh, all the media outlets and resources are here and they'll go through, get interviews and uh, some pregame plans and things like that from the guys. But you know, last day was the official practice. Yesterday was the last day of official practice. It was our official practice day, I guess you could say. And, uh, you know, that I used that day to kind of fine tune some things and get some ideas. You know, the thing about classic practice is it's, it's unique in that you have three days, basically the weekend before the tournament starts, and then you have the official practice day, which is on Wednesday, and then the tournament doesn't start until that following Friday. So big gap there. And this time of year, especially in the spring, 
you know, fish are moving every day, but with the weather we had changing this week, they're going to be moving even more, I think. So just trying to anticipate where those fish are headed. Uh, I eliminated some water yesterday, found some potential new water. So um, got some ideas. We're going to roll with it, and Lord willing, we catch some of them big ones. Uh, fishing's been pretty tough. I you know, went out again yesterday for the official, for the last official day of practice, and uh, it was tough again. Cold, wet, rainy, but ended up catching a few, getting a few bites. Hopefully, gonna get a few things rolling in my direction. Uh, you know, I got some ideas. Just hopefully it pans out. I think the fish are really gonna move. Sun's out today. It's really, really nice. The best weather we've had yet. It's gonna be like upper 70s, upper 70s tomorrow. So, looking forward to getting out there. It's gonna be a fun week. Bassmaster Classic is what we live for, guys. Okay, I need you to write the winning weight on top and yep. then draw the lure that's gonna win the class. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, here we go. Uh, Pin that's that square that. that's that square you know what that yeah, is i know exactly what that is all right hold it up there in that sort of in that corner yeah there you go yeah okay dang it man i don't know what that was we're just seeing if there's anything i can't live Ooh. Dude, like, like seriously, like you're gonna think this is all set up. This isn't set up. I'm actually digging through my book right now, trying to get the last minute things that I might need. And like literally, I have been okay. So cool. Okay, mystery tackle box. This is the pro version. I brought a couple with me. I've been needing a red lipless. I have a clutch red one, but I need one that's not so red, like kind of in between. I needed that one i did not have this one in my boat i literally just opened up the pro series box and that is going in the bassmasters classic real deal story right there that is true and um the heck is that thing it's crazy some swim baits huh. bad and then check this out elite box the other crankbait that i needed was that one I needed the regular sexy shed one. I had a chartreuse black back, and I needed that one. So there literally are the two baits that I have been wanting to put in my boat for game day. So that's actually a pretty cool deal. So if you have a fisherman in your family, you subscribe to Mystery Taco Box. You pick out whether you want the Elite Box, the Pro Box, whatever. And each month, box shows up at your house. It's like Christmas. You open it up, all these cool baits. And like legit stuff right there. There's a pro crawl from uh, Z-Man. There's some swim baits. Of course, I had the crank bait. There's a jerk bait that's a good one. Some more. Look at that little. Oh, that thing's pretty sweet. Swim jigs. Another clutch. I mean, there's just endless stuff in here. A lot. So, very cool. Very good value. And um, it's a great gift idea. So, if you have, again, a fisherman in your family and you want to give them a really cool gift, buy them a year's supply mystery tackle box. So, that way they can build up their whole arsenal of stuff. And they've always got new baits showing up. And then if you're, if you're ever fishing in the Bassmasters Classic and you forgot some of your baits at home, you open it up, and bam, there it is right there. I mean, come on. All right, so I, I am going to borrow one of these, okay? And this one right here is pretty darn special, too. I caught some big ones to pick with on this one. This one right here. Okay, that, and then I do have to take one, um, just one of those. Here. Thank you. Here, take that. You can have that. Thank you for letting <laughs> me borrow your baits. Yep. There you go. Good trade. Come here, Randy. Come here. He's, I got to introduce you to somebody very special to me. You've never seen him on our videos yet, but this is my good buddy, my best friend in life, <laughs> Randy Clark. Randy is a, is a huge, huge part of who I am today. He's been a huge part of all my victories 
and uh, he came to watch something special this week. So the first Bassmaster Classic. Let's go ahead and just do it. <laughs> I hope so. Randy lives down in Mississippi, and um, so hopefully you'll see a little bit more Randy in the upcoming videos. Maybe we bring him on the road on a few more tournaments or so. But it's all good, buddy. Glad to have you here. We'll do a picture with your trophy. A couple days. Don't let me That'd down. Be good. That'd be good. Mm. All right, guys. So here's the deal. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. So thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I'm gonna ask you a favor. Say a little prayer for me, guys, okay? If you would. And uh, appreciate all the support so much. Subscribe, share the videos out, and tell a friend about how cool our videos are. We'll see you guys. Good night. Boom!